Good morning guys. Myself and my daughter were back in Canick. Not in the wooded area, but we're at a church. And the name I forgot. <laughs> what? We're gonna see if we can go inside it and have a look. Because Canick being the creepiest place as it is, we thought. Let's have a look and see what the old graveyard's like. That's not how you park. Already it looks really creepy. I sense a creepy vibe. I sense a cold vibe. I sense a lock gate. Did you catch the name of the church? Gentle Shore Church. Man, look at that, so worn down. You can't see an absolute, any letters at all. An old doorway blocked off there. Lights are on inside there through that window. There's a doorway for Joey Jordison. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, I try to do some sort of little bit of research and find out, you know, if this place is haunted or not, or if, if it is, who by. And I couldn't find a thing on this place. However, just beyond this graveyard, over the back, in fact, oh, there it is. Turn the camera around. In between the hedge on the left and the tree on the right, if you look at the back, there's a building there. That is an old derelict um, windmill. And the story, <clears throat> I can't remember how far it dates back. I think it's the early 1800s, thereabouts. 
Jeez, I thought I saw somebody just standing there. It's a gravestone, look at that. <laughs> um, two children were playing in the uh, windmill and uh, they fell, I believe they fell through the trap door at the top and uh, it was all full of grain or flour and the, basically they sunk to the bottom and suffocated and there's be, allegedly been um, the spirits of those two children seen there and um, a phantom occasionally supposed to pass by there so uh yes um so uh yes um so uh yes um and in the grounds where that windmill is and in the grounds where that windmill is and in the grounds where that windmill is there's a pub called ye old windmill uh, in or pub or something like that and there's a section of a of a wall is made out of old gravestones how freaky is that so i switch to the gopro now look at that church man some of these gravestones are uh, really old Crooked, bent, sunken. But the question is, how haunted is it? What do you reckon? Do you get any creepy vibes from here? No, just cold. Just cold. It is a bit chilly today. I only got a little bit freaked out when I saw that gravestone. I thought it was a person standing there for a split second. <laughs> so there is a road here just behind this holly bush. Holly. <laughs> And uh, there will be the occasional car passing by, so uh, yes, it appears the older graves are on this side and the newer graves are at the back. <clears throat> Just seen a white feather floating down. A random white feather floating down. Don't know why, but you would expect to be creeped out a little bit by the older graves which interests me the most but I feel a little bit sort of weird out a bit here how do you feel darling? you okay here side? You feel cold just cold cold short investigation get back in the car <laughs> age 9 hours what? Aged nine hours. Two months in nine hours. Two people. Oh god. Aged two months. Nineteen sixty. Bloody hell. Oh yeah, look at those the middle one, the middle right in there. Aged nine hours. Man, I've never seen that before. I did, I did just say a second ago, I feel a little bit more creeped out this side for some reason. And then reading that.
Well, good morning, spirits. Are there any spirits here that want to talk, want to communicate? Myself and my daughter is here to come and chat to you. I mean, no disrespect to you all. All I want to do is have a little chat. Now, this device in my hand, you can come and talk into it. Or another way of showing your presence is you can throw something. Throw a stick, a stone, near us, but not at us. Or even just start uh, coming whisper in our ears I do feel that somebody should come along and uh, repair that. How did such a gravestone, a headstone like that, fall over? Because they're pretty heavy. Oh, there's that windmill there, just there. could probably get in there, you know. Imagine suffocating in flour or grains. That would be horrendous, that. It's like a Ramstein album. <laughs> Looks like a Ramstein album. <laughs> I actually don't know if it's publicly accessible. It, it's officially on the grounds, I believe, of the uh, pub. Just about, I don't know, 100 yards away. But yes, I see some, um, some space here for some... Uh, potentially newer graves and it looks like in the distance over there there's a fairly new one ish looks like so yes Are there any spirits that wander this graveyard? Do you want to ask anything? My brain dead. A brain dead. What's for dinner? <laughs> if you want to come forward, ultimately, what I'm after is to capture any apparitions, any spirits, ghosts, whatever you like to be called. I thought that was a shadow. On camera, where's that? On that tree. <laughs> shadow on the tree? That dark bit on the tree on the... Oh, right, the tall tree? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so if you could come forward and show yourself on the camera, that would be great. Or if you just want to come and talk to us by way of just talking, just let me hear your voices. I don't know any history on this place. I have tried. I don't even know if there's anybody wanders this graveyard, but that's what I'm here for. 
I don't even know if this anybody wanders this graveyard, but that's what I'm here for. I don't even know if this anybody wanders this graveyard, but that's what I'm here for. In the hope to communicate with anybody. If there's any spirits here, could you answer this question? What happens when you die? Do you live on in another plane? Another dimension? Does heaven exist? I've just seen a black shadow on the left of me. Who's at me eye? I don't know. I felt like I saw just a black shadow for a split second there. I think this place has got something, you know. I think this place has got something, you know. I think this place has got something, you know. I really do. I think this... Um These are all the uh, early 2000s, 2008, 2004, 3. This side is the 1960s, 80s, 70s. Gradually, gradually getting newer towards the back. Man, is that, that's the one there, wasn't it? Nine, yeah. nine hours old. Now, what are the chances that there's graves below here where there's no headstones? Now, what are the chances that there's graves below here where there's no headstones? Now what are the chances that there's graves below here where there's no headstones? Yeah, you probably be stepping on one. Could well be. Yeah, the ground's sinking here. These are graves, unmarked, no headstones. So I can't tell if I'm actually walking over them or along the edge. Well, when we drove here, it was raining and it was miserable, but there's a break in the clouds. It's nice to see the sunshine out. <clears throat> come on, spirits, come forward. We're right next to uh, some of the creepiest places in Staffordshire, Canic Chase. So many cryptids, black-eyed children, a Bigfoot, 
there is lots and lots of hauntings. So there's no reason why this place shouldn't be haunted. So why don't you not come and have a little chat. Come and show yourself. Let me see who roams this place. Why don't you not use my energy? You got the SLS. I just heard it. What? Oh, a groan. A groan. Okay, spirits. Another way to communicate. If you can't show yourself. If you can't talk into this camera I'm holding this device in my hand with the lights on it this device in my hand with the lights on it this device in my hand with the lights on it if you come forward and touch it it will not harm you you can touch it yeah they go and the lights will flicker from green to yellow to orange to red now you somebody just made that flicker for a split second there and somebody come forward and touch this device or my hand. How about How about I put that there? Henry. The Henry the Eighth. <laughs> I wonder if the spirit of Henry can uh, make these lights flicker. Or can the spirits of any one that roams here come and make these lights? Go on, take them up to red. Tell you what, I have a just want to go under this tree. Come on, spirits. If you have the energy, the power. That K2 I have on the tree. Touch it, make the lights go up, or even push it off the tree. This device, the K2, it doesn't always go off. Sometimes we get a little flicker. Well, yeah, it just, uh, it could be because I'm standing in the wrong place. There may be no body here. Nobody Can willing to talk. To next to the windmill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could go back over there. Did you get anything on the SLS? No. No. Only you. Just me. It might be that it's just a very quiet, peaceful graveyard. I just thought, it's canic. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there's more creepier places in Cannock than this place. But uh, if anything, I had to come here. I had to try it out. But yeah, I really sort of feel 
this old section now normally as I say I feel quite freaked out in the older sections but more so in the newer section for some reason and Holly not even freaked out at all mm. now she just cold and probably hungry tired cold and tired Right, let's try near the windmill, eh? What? Aged 11. I thought this was too far at the back. Man. No. Read the word after our 11. Aged 11 weeks. 11 uh, weeks. The, uh, 11 hours. Man, what is it with these children? Babies? 11 Why is it that I keep on finding the children? Yeah. 11 Why is it that I keep on finding the children? Yeah. 11 Why is it that I keep on finding the children? Yeah. 11 weeks old, 9 hours old. No, Man. They're 2 months old. 2 months, yeah. I've never seen a cemetery graveyard with children or babies that have died so young. I mean, I know what happens, unfortunately, but um, never actually seen the the graves. I've seen graves of children before, obviously, but um, man, that is weird. Well, at least this person died at 81. Person. Good old life yeah, there. About 97. 97, yeah. Yeah. I always get a little bit more freaked out with um, children's graves. You know, it sh shouldn't be, shouldn't happen. Right, we're back at the windmill. So let me put me bag down. Oh. Is someone crying? It sounded like it. It's, it's like a whistle. Yeah, it sounded like a child crying over here. Oh, well, this. Kind of you right. Smiler. You're right. Smiler. You're right. I mean, it could well have been something else, but it sounded like a child crying. It sounded like a Don't know if I can get in here. Uh, now, it's that's very thorny bush there. Um, that will rip my jacket to shreds. I was, oh, there it is again. That, I know exactly what that is. Child crying, debunked. I don't know if this um, GoPro is going to pick it up. 
However, let me see. Follow my finger. Around about, around about that area there. There is a, um, an owl, not a real owl. And that's obviously it's, to, I think that's to scare off birds. I'm guessing when the wind blows at a certain angle, it acts as a whistle and it's um, making the sound of an owl. That's what that is. <laughs> well, the very first one, the very first one was definitely, well, to me, it sounded like a child crying. Man, I want to get into that windmill. Yeah, I mean, jacket would get ripped to shreds. I'm not risking that. Unless we can somehow get in. To the pub side, I don't know if we can. Whoa, look at the look at the kit too. Wow, look at that holly. That's it, get that right up to red. Oh this is this the spirits of the children that died in this windmill? Oh this is this the spirits of the children that died in this windmill? Are this, is this the spirits of the children that died in this windmill? If it, if it is you, the little boy, a little girl, can you hold, make the lights flicker all the way to red? Red if it's the girl. Okay, take it a red if it's the boy. That's it. So the little boy, is that who I'm talking to? You want to tell me your name? The device in my left hand can record your image or your sound, your voice. Come and talk into it good idea sweetheart bringing that here look at that man that is powerful that is have you got the power to show it yourself whoa something got my throat then <coughs> oh Jesus Someone got my throat there I couldn't talk properly And just to show you that I'm not manipulating this at all I'm going to try and put this down Maybe he's there Can you Making those lights go to red. Now, is that going to show me to be a liar? <laughs> okay. Maybe you want me just to hold it. Right, the spirit of that little boy, come forward, that's it. What about the girl? Can you come forward? Touch this device on my right hand, or touch my hand, that's it. Now if you want to whisper into this camera that I'm holding. What, tell me your name. I told you guys, 
I told you I was more freaked out for this side for some reason. The more I hear that go off, the more I hear an owl. <laughs> It's also said that this windmill also has a phantom that is often seen. Do you have the power to come forward and show yourself? Why don't you not to come and talk into the camera? into the microphone tell me your name do the two children I said earlier that you guys suffocated in the flower inside of the windmill you fell through a trap door now can you confirm that can you confirm that by making the lights go up to red? Or just make the lights go up to, to yellow. There you go, look at that. That is insane. I need to figure out a way to get inside of there. Yeah, maybe. maybe we should go and have a little wander down and uh, ask them in the pub if we can go in. Man, there's some strong energy here. It's the first time since I've owned this K2 that it's gone off that intense. The energy following us. Well, the spirits of those children that suffocated here. Wow, look at that, right up the red. Feel free. Feel free. Feel free to talk into this device on my left hand. I want to hear your voice. If you can speak where I can actually hear your voice in a moment, that would be great. I'm asking a question for the young boy who died. Could you tell me how old you was? I ask a question to the young girl who died. Could you tell me how old you was? Do you still play in this windmill? You do. Is it true that there is a spirit of a phantom seen here? I'll take that as a yes. 
thank you for doing that. You've no idea how much I appreciate that. Are the spirits of the little boy and girl, are you at, are you at peace now? Tell you what, the amount of times that I've used the K2 on investigations, whether it's been on camera or off camera, that just there has paid for itself. Uh, there's a couple of workmen over in the back there banging away, so uh, we'll leave that for now. Wow, what do you think of that? Creepy. That was creepy, wasn't it? I tell you what as well, I was getting a little bit of a palpitation in the, uh, in the old ticker there. Which is, uh... Which is, uh... Which is, uh... There's some strong energy there, it really is. Ah, oh, there's that grave again, I can't believe that. Age two months, age nine hours. Why do always keep coming the children do? I know, right? And what are you? You're the one. Eleven weeks old. You found. Yeah. Over yeah, there. Back up there. Yeah, we haven't been over the backside over there, have we? Do you want to have a quick look? Just have a quick look down there and see what we've got. You never know. We might get some voices come forward. So we're calling on any of the spirits that are uh, laid to rest here in this graveyard. If you have the energy, if you have the energy, if you have the energy, 13 years old, Holly, yeah. Abby Louise Phillips, aged 13 years old. Is this a child's graveyard? No. No, 72 years old. There's a lot of children buried here. I'm trying to walk in between the graves. Right down the middle. I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody. I do apologise if I walk on anybody's grave. It's not in any intent. Eleven. Eh? Eleven years. Okay. 1979 and 1990. So, eleven years apart. No, May 1898. Which one we're looking at? Hang on. This one. Oh, that one. They're yeah. eleven years apart. All oh, right. Yeah. 1979. Uh, do you know what? I, I, it, I knew I had a. Eh? 102. 100, 102 years old. Yeah. Soldier and servant. Wow. 102 years old. Now that. Yeah. You can't really knock that. <laughs> living 102 years old but weeks old 13 years old man it's just oh. 
I told you guys at the beginning, I felt less creeped out over there and I felt more creeped out over here. And it's just the age alone that is just making me feel a bit weirded out. And the energy there next to that windmill, man. My heart was racing. <laughs> Doesn't usually happen that. Whoa. Thought I was going to go into a grave then. I found another child aged 14 years. Fourteen years old. Do you know, as you guys have probably noticed by now, I have a fascination of old graveyards. And I've over the years I've been in some many, many creepy ones. And some not so creepy ones. And this, by the looks of it, doesn't even look creepy. But the feeling is de definitely there. This place, man. I wonder what this is like on a very calm, windless day, early in the evening or very early in the morning. I think at times this place comes to life in its own way. I'm still calling forward for any spirits that want to come and communicate. Tell me your names. Maybe I've walked past your graves. The spirits of any of the children here. Shut up, I'm calling. Wow. Should we head to the old section? You fancy? Go this way. Hey. Hang on. Is there a number missing on that? Or aged four years? Probably a number missing. Could be, yeah. I just thought I heard a giggle then. Are there any spirits with us now? Did somebody just giggle behind me? Are there any spirits in this area that I want to communicate?
I was going to take the drone up and have a look at that windmill, but um, it's quite windy today and I know the drone can withstand the wind, but it's the gusts because it's such an open area as well. I ain't going to risk it today, guys. Three ears. Three ears. Oh good. Uh, you can just see the Y. Oh man, is that a three year old child again? Or is that another number missing? I don't know, I don't know. That's hot as hell, isn't it? Are that old these gravestones? Just three ears. <laughs> <laughs> Died with three ears. <laughs> man. I don't know what it is guys, but standing at this angle here, I find that a little bit more creepy than I, than I did earlier for some reason. Oh yeah, I, I saw that earlier, but I forgot to go to it. <laughs> yeah, this gravestone here, guys, check it out, man. I've never seen a gravestone built with stone like that. Yeah, the wind swept on, the wind, rain, hail. Well guys, we're going to bring this video to an end now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, leave me a comment and uh, tell me what you think about that K2. That was, uh, that was intense, that. Never had the K2 go off like that before. Morning. Morning. Eighteen.
She's obviously uh, works here or maintains the graves. Right then. Uh, All visitors on there. Possibly, yeah. Right, okay guys, so... Um, yeah, so eh? Oh yeah, yeah that's hit the ground with that gravestone, hang on a minute, Let me turn the camera around again, that's always hit, hit the ground with some force and thud and thud and thud and just smashed in half. Nature. 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 Nature is taken over. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video again. <laughs> Hope you guys what liked what you had saw there. Um, I really enjoyed this place. Um, one second. <laughs> one month old. Where's that? Fifth line to the bottom. Yeah, it does. It says one. One month. Man. Another grave of a child, one month old. Keep trying to do an outro of it, uh, <laughs> video here. <laughs> We're just seeing more bizarre stuff. So anywho, yes. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a comment um, what you thought on the K2. And um, if you did hear anything that I didn't hear in the moment, or if you did see anything, leave a comment with a timestamp, and then uh, yes, we can have a look over that. So uh, thank you, guys. Everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.